All right, warriors, welcome back. Let's do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds. Five seconds. And what we're going to do is breathe in deep and then release together just to get reacclimatious. Get our asses back to reality. It takes five seconds. And look, what we're going to try and do is get back in our path. You're the one that veered off. Look, narcissists have been doing what they're doing all their lives. All their lives. This is their road. You veered off your path. See, narcissists aren't allowed with your peeps. No matter how hard they try to invite themselves, they're always rejected. Always rejected. What they got to try and do is get you to go into their playground and FOMO get you. The fear of missing out. The narcissist temptations do not with the toy but with the box. A whole lot of nothing. Five seconds. Let's do this. Let, let's take that deep breath. Let's take a badass walk on the beach and let's talk about and communications on what kind of people is it that narcissists refuse to engage with. Once they identify you as one of these, they're going to do everything they can to steer away from you. They will hate you, no doubt, but from a distance this time. Five seconds, come on now. Release slowly. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. Look, one thing is for sure, narcissists hate confrontation. They hate being challenged. And this is why a person who refuses to accept the bullshittery of the narcissist, in other words, someone with a high self-esteem of self-worth, they don't engage, nor do they dumb down to anyone's level. You either get it or you don't. And when this happens, narcissists can't manipulate. They can't tempt. They can't try and feed your greed, envy, jealousy, and lust. See, when you have self-control, now you're a real threat because narcissists know that you're the observant, a watcher. And you have the ability to expose the narcissist unlike no other. Not only can you harm them, but it's mortification that the narcissist fears most. Mortificatious, having to relocate and reinvent their their self image, not repair it, totally reinvent. This is why it's mortificatious, and you are able to deploy this without verbally exposing the narcissist, simply by your absence and your silence. Because narcissists know all too well they do not have the self-control to not retaliate. In fact, their inner voice tells them they need to leave you alone, and they will not. Let me give you an idea of what reciprocity looks like. How love moves. I heard a story of a wife who had long, beautiful hair, long hair. And she went to the husband and said, honey, can I, can I please buy a comb for my hair to maintain my hair? He said, sweetheart, maybe we can wait next month. My watch broke and I really need this for work budget won't allow it. He went to the watchmaker that day with a heavy heart. So he looked at the watchmaker 
and said, can you please give me your best offer for the watch? He sold the watch and bought his wife a comb, the most beautiful comb, and went home after work. So excited. Honey, honey, honey. What happened to your hair? He said, I sold the watch to get you your comb. You never asked for anything. And I wanted to do this for you. And she said, sweetheart, I love you so much. And I hate to see you work so hard. I sold my hair to get you this watch. This is why it's so important for you to learn to let these narcissists go. These are the kind of relationships that don't matter. Stop hanging around with disposable people that don't think past themselves. Because this is what you're missing out on. Respectful communication and love shown by actions, not words. Warriors, every now and again, we need to remind ourselves of, of red flags, big mistakes, things we don't we don't ever need to be ignoring again. Bullies are own friends. Can burp the national anthem. <laughs> Exhausted, having been dating since there was twelve. That's a long time to be the community bike. No matter how hard they try, they're always late. <laughs> Doesn't drink coffee. They were born caffeinated. Wants to tag along with you everywhere you go, and you never get alone time. Dating was never about the money. You're a damn lie. You better stop the cap. That's the only reason for the monkey jump. Where's Axe body spray? <laughs> only happy when they're the center of attention. Never picks up after themselves. Nasty asses. Tell small lies even when they don't have to. Just to stay in the habit. They gotta keep the practice in. Just, you know, freaking sound believable and all. Doesn't know how to calculate a tip, so they leave a random amount of money. They're the ones that say keep the change. Cheap asses. <laughs> Remember, warriors, hold the line. What makes you different is you haven't lost your smile, your kindness. Virtue is a new currency. It's hard to come by these days. Are you one that offers a comb or the watch? Selfless giver. Stop people into the ones that don't deserve an act of kindness. Not after the multitudes of stabs in the back that they've given you. Stop putting respect on disrespect. And stop allowing yourself to give apologies 
to narcissists that aren't even there asking for them. That's supposed to be shared with your own kind. And you went through this so that you understand what narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths are like. You had to feel what it feels like to give and be unappreciated. But now the narcissists get to feel the wrath of your absence and silence and the fact that you never lost your smile. Now get your asses off that couch. You're not a damn survivor. You're a warrior. You left survival when you walked away. When you blew the bridge up. When you went no contact and meant it. Can I get a what what? Now get out there and own it. Y'all are awesome. You're badasses. I reached you a fortress cookie. I ran out. But I can tell you what it is. You no longer roll dice on potential. I like that one. <laughs> All right, y'all, get out there. Kick ass and take names. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're gonna skydive today. We're gonna skydive. <laughs> Leap of it. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? Fourteen thousand five hundred. Close. Fourteen thousand five hundred feet. Yep. And then we're gonna All be right. falling at a high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're gonna be falling very fast. We're gonna be falling gonna be at a hundred, a hundred and twenty miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. You got my back. <laughs> yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. What All made right. you want to skydive? What What brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on.
know, honestly, I have no idea who won the sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> All right, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be well, back. Jesse, All right. thank you for jumping with us. It's got a Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> my brother. That was, what a fun ride. Wasn't it awesome? Hey, man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.